Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. In this session, we will discuss about web API services. But first, see some services of the code gun. You can find all the links in the description box. So now let's move to the web API. So let's see what is web API services. The web API functionality provides an interface for configuring native interaction with systems and services that provide published HTTP APIs. The most common of these is RESTful API. Let me show you a scenario of Google search. So we want to automate the Google search. So for this we have to launch the chrome browser and navigate to the google.com url and then we have to write the text in this search box and hit enter or we can click on the google search button also so after this we will get the search results so if this is the process which we want to follow means launch the google.com and then enter the text in this search box and hit enter so we need to spy this search box or also we can spy this search button as well or we can hit enter now have a look on this url it contains http as www.google.com slash q is equal to covid plus 19 so this q is for query and it is equal to covid plus 19 means which we searched the text which we searched like covid space 19 so it is using plus sign for a space so if we increase the space we can see the lot of plus sign similarly if we type cricket we can see the cricket after q q is equal to cricket so now let me copy this and paste it here so let's say we want to search for covid space 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 19 so we will use this url and if we want to search for blue prism so we can write blue prism after q is equal to blue prism in new tab just paste this url and hit enter and here we are getting the results for blue prism so this is how we can search for a particular text now no need to go to google.com and enter the text and click on search google search button so in blue prism also it will become easy just we need this url and we can append the text which we want to search and no need to spy the uh, that search box or that google.com button so similarly we can get the search results as output as well with the help. similarly in web api services we can exchange the information with applications without interacting with their user interface we can directly get the information and no need to spy the applications so this is the use of the web api services in blue prism we can directly communicate with the applications without automating them let's understand what is an api api is an interface that allows you to build on the data and functionality of another application while a web services is a network based resource that fulfills a specific task yes there is a overlap between the two all web services are apis but not all apis are web services the web api services feature allows blue prism processes to interact with three serv uh, with these services to either provide data to or to consume the data or services provided by these external systems within an automated business object so in system tab you can see this feature web api services under object we can add new services we can add it 
existing services and we can delete the existing services as well. So the feature provided natively by the web API functionality allows the most common services to be automated by Blue Prism and these capabilities can be extended using code stages to cater for bespoke or complex data structure and authentication mechanism. Web API configuration tool has been designed to be as flexible as possible to ensure that complex API calls can be configured. Let me show you the web API configuration tool. Let's go to system tab and click on add services. You can see this is the web API configuration tool. Web API definitions are created in the system tab of the Blue Prism. So here we can create the web API definition means a web api service so we can see it contains here is the actions and we can create new actions as well you can see this add action button and each action contains parameters request headers and response so this is our three actions new action new action one and new action two and each action has similar properties parameters request and response we will use all these in upcoming videos so also we can add a common header which will be common in all the actions similarly common parameters common authentication and common code so these all will be common in all the actions but if we want any private a private code or private uh, a private parameter so we will create that parameter or header in the action itself web api definitions are created in the blue prism system tab and each definition can contain multiple action and each one typically representing an endpoint within an api the action define how an http request is made and determines how the http response is translated into output parameters once an api definition has been configured the associated action can be used in objects to enable process developers to use interaction with third party services as part of an automation. This is our web API configuration tool. You can see it contains the definition of our API service. And to create a web API definition, we need all these details, basic settings, actions, HTTP headers and all. So in next video, we will see and web API and we will use that API in our blue prism.